Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 12, 2021. Um, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we continue to fall here in the US dollar index. We did rally above the 20 the bullish band here. And usually what happens is that it basically falls towards the middle of the bullish band. Or if that breaks, then the 50 is right here at 1957. Uh, or we head even lower towards these very lows here and to probably towards the bottom of the bullion band. So I think that we're going to find quite a lot of support around this area here where the 20 and the middle of the bullion band and also the 50 moving average are uh, situated. So technical indicators are all turning around. MACD is still above the signal lines. Stochastic has crossed. The CCI is becoming uh, bearish and so is the RSI. So we will most likely see this fall uh, even further before going higher. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, oil had another good day today. It rallied 2%. We are getting, again, very close to the top of the bullish band, getting fairly overstretched here. We may see this rally up towards around the 67, give or take, before it breaks down, if we don't break down before that. Taking the indicators, they are all very bullish for oil. But the pullbacks towards the 20 exponential have been buying opportunities in the past, as you can see, all these pullbacks towards the 20 exponential. So let's look at natural gas. Yes, natural gas is just uh, sticking around here. So we fell towards the bottom of the bullish band here, and now we slowly are trading up towards the 50 moving average. We are most likely going to have a crossing here of the 20 and the 50, and that is usually a very bearish shine for this market. It is, uh, if that occurs, it most likely will drop towards the lower of the bullish band around here, 2.59 or towards the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are fairly flat or bearish at this point. A break above the 50 and 20 exponential opens the door to the to 2.8 and then to these previous highs here at 2.89 so let's look at copper so copper had a really nice day today we uh pull rallied from the 20 exponential are trading now at uh, 4.14 and we are running into resistance here at the previous highs so at the moment, it is very likely that we will continue higher. will not end probably until we get to the top here at the bullish band at the 4.3. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. There is some a lot of room to the upside to be said in the, in the RSI. So yes, it looks like we are going to rally to the upside here. Break below the 20 exponential, opens the door to the 50. However, that looks very unlikely. More likely that we'll pull back towards the 20 and then rally higher. So let's look at gold. So gold has yet again pulled back. So we have, we basically see that the 20 exponential has offered massive uh, resistance every single time we rally up towards the 20, it basically breaks down. We can see also this inverted hammer here and that is a very negative sign for this market. Technical indicators are, well, still bearish. Uh, we are way underneath zero here in the MACD, so we are in a bearish trend. We are underneath the signal line, but about to cross it, we'll most likely head towards south end um, at the end of the day. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. CCA is becoming uh, bullish, but this does not look good for gold. In a more likely, that will turn around here and head toward uh, south. If the US dollar uh, uh, rallies, then that will be uh, fairly catastrophic for this market. So let's look at silver. So silver has rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then broken down. The technical indicators, they are all turning around. So a break above the 50 opens the door to the middle here at the bullish band at 26.7 and then about up towards the $28. Break below here opens the bottom of the bullish band at roughly $25. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has rallied and then broken down. So we have found the bottom here at the bullish round around 11 at 14, rallied all the way up towards 12.25 before breaking down towards the 
20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish. MACD is about the chrono is still far away, but it is turning around here. Stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So a pullback towards the 20 will most likely be bought into. Otherwise, break beneath the 20 will open the door to the 50 moving average. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium did rally quite significantly above the 50 moving average and then broke down. And now it just settled just above the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are all turning around to the upside. So we can trade this at the top or the best idea to trade this is at basically the top at 2.5 or down here at 2.2 or at the 200 moving average just above here. So it has rallied from the 200 moving average and will mostly head towards the top of the bullish band at to 2.4 or probably all the way to 2.5. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has rallied a little bit today. We are finding that 20 exponential is uh, holding and as long as that is the case, that this will continue to go higher. Technical indicators are all over the place. MACD is flat, CCI is flat, Stochastic is, uh, CCI is bullish and the RSI is basically flat at this point. But uh, pullbacks towards the 20 have been bought into in the past and therefore it will also most likely be uh, the same case now if we break towards the 20. Otherwise, we'll find resistance at uh, 2.210. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has tried to rally today. We're basically stuck here right at the 200 moving average at the bottom of the bullish band. Technical indicators are slowly becoming flat. So would appear that we will most likely rally up towards the 20 exponential and then we'll see whether or not that uh, becomes resistant or or whether or not we break through that and then go higher. If it becomes resistant, then we'll probably break down again towards the 200 moving average. And so it is to be seen, but the 200, it is basically holding at this point and we are just basically same time until we basically rally towards the 20 exponential. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has rallied a little bit today, not that much. Uh, we broke into the 50 moving average, uh, tested the 20 and then pulled back. Technical indicators are slowly turning around. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we'll most likely go towards 0 0.1669. Uh, and a break above there, that opens the door to the very highest here of 0 0.1825. Break below these lows opens the door to 0 0.1520. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has had a really nice day today. Uh, up around 3%. Uh, found support here at the 50 moving average and then rallied. Technical indicators are all turning around for this market. Break above the middle of the bullish band opens the door towards uh, 0 0.9366. Break below here and we'll find that the 50 moving average will act as support. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa is trying to rally and then we broke down and now we ended up in negative. Technical indicators are basically all over the place. I would say far away from this as I said several times. Um, we are trading the highs here of 2.8, lows here at 2.2, and then the middle here of 2.6, and then 2.3, give or take. And we're basically all over the place. So, yes, it's a fairly pure gamble trading this. Technical indicators are all over the place as well, so that's not much help either. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has broken down. Uh, as I said yesterday, it was also very uncertain whether or not we would rally towards the upside or break down to the downside. We did break down to the downside. Technical indicators are looking uh, dreadful at this point, but we will most likely find the support here at 633 if we manage, if we break continue breaking down tomorrow. Otherwise, break above the 50 and the 20 opens the door to these previous highs at the 665 and then to 676. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing.
hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and welcome to join us over at Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.